Gary, welcome to our Times Square studio. Thank you. This is awesome. Thank you. Times Square, even though it's raining, people are still out, right? It's unbelievable. It's amazing. I'm from Kansas. This is a big, this is, this is a big world here. How does it feel to be carrying Trophy. Amazing. I'll tell you what, it, you, you work your whole life to do something, but you don't think about what happens afterwards, and I never thought I'd be carrying this. And this morning you've been going nonstop. Yeah. Does it, does it feel like you won it? Like, can you still, has it set in yet? It hadn't set in yet. You know, like I said, when I woke up and it was next to the bed, okay, I'm like, all right, it's not a dream. This is real. But um, like I said, I'm not, not used to everything that's coming with it, but I'm excited for it. it it's been a long process, but it's led me to where I am today. And you just were at the uh, New York, uh, you were at NASDAQ. How yeah. was that? Unbelievable. That's one place I never thought I'd be. Um, you know, I've played sports my whole life, but um, it was really cool. A lot of cool experiences. Um, meet a lot of cool people, and uh, hopefully we continue to do that. Has anybody uh, you've met that you couldn't believe you met or you want to meet? Yeah, I mean, I've obviously had a lot of people reach out to me. I've had a lot of messages, a lot of love, which is really cool. Um, you know, it's nice to to get some love from people from other sports, um, people that you've looked up to your whole life. It's pretty cool. Like who? Who's reached out? I mean, Chris Paul's been, you know, Charles Barkley, some guys that I've, I've always been a basketball guy. So these guys reaching out changes it a little bit. That's pretty cool. And you didn't always play golf. You were on a basketball scholarship. Yeah, I played. I started off playing basketball. And then I, I realized I was short and slow and it wasn't going to work. So golf's, golf's been my love, you know, ever since I was in college. But um, it's cool for those guys to reach out. And tell me about when you won that trophy and you went over and hugged your father. What yeah. was that like? It's special. Obviously, we're at Pebble Beach on US Open, but it's Father's Day. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for my dad. And to be over there and share that with him and being father myself, I can't wait to get home and, and hug my little guy as well. So that was a special moment, obviously, winning the US Open, but to do it on Father's Day at Pebble Beach uh, is the icing on the cake. And your wife is expecting twins? <laughs> yeah. I need to make a lot more birdies. Yeah, we have identical twin girls coming very soon. So it's an exciting time right now, but uh, we'll enjoy this together, and then we'll have a lot more fun when the girls come. And you have a lot of special fans. Amy is one yeah. of your fans. Yeah, she's, she's an amazing girl. Uh, we, I had the pleasure of meeting her in Phoenix. We got to play the 16th hole together in that stadium, thousands of people watching, and she played. She made a par on it in front of so many people. It was so cool, but her attitude, her energy, her love, you know, the world needs a lot more of that in it. And uh, I've carried a lot of her energy with me. It was great to see us all here this morning. Um, it's great to catch up with her always. And what were you thinking when you got up that morning to play? I just kept telling myself records are meant to be broken. I'd never converted a 54-hole lead. I'd, I'd heard it the whole night before, you know, in the media tent. So I just kept telling myself today's my day. Everything that I've done has led me to this point, and it's time for me to go out and shine. And what did your father say to you when he, when he hugged you? In the we did it. We did it. And it was, like I said, my dad sacrificed everything for me to be where I am. And together, we got able to share that moment. It was really cool. So what's, what's next for you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to enjoy this week off. My son turns two this week, so we're going to have a little birthday party. And then I'll get back to work next week in Detroit and get back to work. Hopefully have another big week. They said you were uh, part of what they call the most viral moment in PGA history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, when, when you have somebody as special as Amy who can come out and do something so cool, it's, it's contagious. Um, her love, her energy, everybody latched on to that. Obviously, it was amazing that she made par, but her attitude and her love is really what sticks out. What will you, what will you do with the trophy? What will the trophy do? Uh, I'll be able to share it with a lot of cool people. I, you know, I spend a lot of time back home in Kansas where I'm from. I live down in South Florida, so I'll take it back to Kansas where I'm from and have everybody have a little bit of fun with it. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.